summarizing the concepts seen for methods uh, which are the um, parts that uh, implement uh, the uh, core actions uh, of an object um, they can either have parameters or not have them have a return type or not and the accessor or mutator methods uh, so um, if a method takes parameters uh, it means that it um, uh, it gathers some data uh, that is passed from the uh, method scholar uh, in order to perform a task. Uh, but even when uh, a method has no parameters, uh, it uh, can still be uh, useful for a particular task in the object. Uh, if a parameter doesn't have um, a void uh, return type, it uh, always will return uh, some value that will be used by the method scorer uh, and uh, it can perform then, the method scorer can then perform uh, further uh, calculations and uh, uh, manipulations to uh, what is what was returned uh, and there are also uh, methods that uh, have a void return type like accessor methods always have a void return type um, I mean uh, no, okay ex um, actually um, accessor methods uh, always have a uh, non-void return type uh, and uh, there are also some uh, many methods uh, that uh, have a void return type uh, and uh, they uh, can still um, be used to perform particular tasks uh, the mutate, mutator uh, methods uh, change the state uh, of um, of a field. So, like uh, these methods that have uh, uh, void return type, basically they use um, what uh, they uh, they can use uh, the fields in the object uh, to, to, to manipulate them uh, and perform uh, some tasks on, on the fields. Uh, then mutator methods um, can change the state of uh, the value of a field and what else? Data methods. Mm, let's see. I think I don't remember. Um, last thing um, about data methods. Hmm. We have to see. Is it clear? Uh, I don't okay. And what's the last thing about? Uh, oh yes, uh, yes. Mutators often take take parameters, and but they can still uh, function also without parameters.